With your Sports on Demand for Friday, March 15th, I'm Alex Klein. There's only four teams left in the WCHA playoffs, and Northern Michigan is one of them. Tonight, they hosted three-seed Bowling Green for the first of a best-of-three series. And after tonight, we can only hope it goes to three games. Pick it up in the second period, an NMU turnover would prove costly as Bowling Green's Max Johnson makes them pay and opens up the scoring. It is one to nothing. Falcons Bowling Green would add one more in the period. Third period, Bowling Green with a five on three power play. Pretty passing here to Brandon Curse, and he beats Ate Tolvanen. The Falcons up three. The Cats still shorthanded less than a minute later. Alec Rauhauser rips it from the point. Connor Ford there for the tip in for the Falcons. Bowling Green with a four spot on NMU. The Cats would keep trying though. Here, James Vermeulen streaks in and fires a wrister, but to no avail. The Falcons take this one in convincing fashion. Final score Bowling Green 6, NMU 1. Both teams meet up again tomorrow night, same time, same place. And in the other semifinal game, Minnesota State beats Lake Superior State 2 to 1 to take a 1 0 lead in the best of three series. Held up. We'll see what happens Basketball now, the NMU taking on Ashland in the NCAA Division II tournament seconds. first round. Time winding down in the first. Ashland up three. Sarah Loomis with the triple. Eagles up 15 to nine. Second quarter, NMU up three now. Lexi Smith over to Sydney Dillinger. She drives, and the Wildcats are on an 8 0 run. It is 22 to 17. Time winding down in the third. Taylor Hodell. Inside, she adjusts and gets the bucket to drop. NMU up 42-35. Five and a half minutes left. Lexi Smith goes outside to Elizabeth Lutz, and she knocks down three of her 10. NMU up 10. 110 now left to go. Eagles go to their girl Loomis. She steps behind the arc and buries the three, gets them within four. She had a game high 32 points and 13 rebounds, but NMU holds on, converting the free throws late. Third time is the charm for the Wildcats. They win 64 to 57. Lexi Smith and Darby Youngstrom both with 14 points each for the Wildcats. They'll take on number one seed Drury on Saturday. The Iron Mountain boys basketball team is on to the state championship with only one more day to prepare. Today, the team practiced at East Lansing High School after defeating Detroit Edison Thursday 60-57. The Mountaineers are now 27-0 and will take on also undefeated Pawama Westphalia in their first true state championship appearance. Here's what the team has to say about tomorrow's upcoming matchup. Uh, the team that they were playing against played a uh, diamond and one on number 32. I wish I knew his name. I don't. I don't know his name. Um, so obviously he's probably their maybe their leading scorer, and um, they have some other guys that are capable of of shooting the ball. And we also learned that they're a pretty strong rebounding team. So I think a key is going to be our rebounding, our half court defense. Uh, I learned that they're very active on the glass, so we're going to have to do a good job boxing out, and we're going to have to run them off the three point line. And it's obviously a dream. We've worked so hard for this, and. All that work's paying off now, all the long hours in the gym, it's paying off in a big way right now and we're reaping the benefit. We're reaping the benefits. The Mountaineers take on the Pirates at the Preston Center Saturday at 4.30 p.m. And sticking with basketball, Northern Michigan University's Isaiah Johnson is named to the All-Midwest Region's second team. The senior guard led the GLIAC in scoring this season, averaging 20.6 points a game and finished the year shooting 45.6% from the field and almost 40% from three-point land. Johnson posted a career-high 33 points this season against Lewis University and became the 32nd player in NMU history to reach the 1,000-point career mark, finishing with 1,569, which is good enough for seventh in school history. For the second season in a row, he was also named to the first team All-GLIAC squad. And in GLIAC lacrosse, NMU falls to Davenport 20-10 in their first GLIAC matchup of the season. Alea Sprees and Grayson Ringlever both had three goals apiece for the Wildcats.